Hello friends, how are you? In this video, we will learn about handicraft vocabulary. So, let's start. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced crafter, it is important to have a good understanding of the relevant words and phrases used in the field of handicrafts. Knowing the terminology can help you communicate effectively with other crafters, understand instructions, and even improve your crafting skills. We will provide you with a list of useful handicraft vocabulary words illustrated with pictures and examples in English to help you improve your vocabulary in this field. Whether you are a hobbyist or a professional, this video will be a valuable resource for you to enhance your knowledge of handicrafts. Needle A needle is a very small, extremely thin, bit of polished metal used to sew. It features a sharp point on one end and a thread through hole on the other. A needle is a narrow hollow metal rod with a sharp end that is used as part of a syringe, a medical tool. Sewing machine A sewing machine is fundamentally a machine that uses thread to stitch cloth and other materials together. Sewing machines were created to reduce the quantity of hand sewing work done in garment factories. Pin A short, narrow length of wire having a point on one end and a head on the other for joining objects. A jeweled pin is any of many types of fasteners or decorations that are made up entirely or partially of a pointed or piercing wire or shaft. Pin Cushion A pin cushion is a tiny filled cushion used in sewing to store pins or needles with their heads protruding so that they may be readily grasped, collected and kept organized. Pin cushions are generally stuffed full of filling to keep pins in place. Knitting needle A knitting needle, sometimes known as a knitting pin, is a tool used to make knitted textiles by hand. They usually have a long shaft with a tapered point, but they aren't as sharp as sewing needles. They serve a dual purpose. The active threads of the cloth are held in place by the long shaft, while the tapered ends are utilized to make new stitches. Embroidery Embroidery is the art of applying yarn or thread to the cloth or other materials with a needle. Other materials used in embroidery include pearls, beads, quills, and sequins. Embroidery can be found on caps, hats, jackets, overlays, blankets, dress shirts, jeans, skirts, stockings, and Wolf shirts in current times. A broad range of yarn or thread colors are available for embroidery. Button A button is a tiny fastener that connects two pieces of fabric together in modern clothes and fashion design. It is most often made of plastic, although it can also be made of metal, wood, or seashell. A button can be an important item in archaeology. A button can be folk art, studio craft, 
or even a small piece of art in the applied arts and crafts. Knitting Knitting is a technique for manipulating yarn to make a textile or cloth. It may be found in a variety of clothing. Knitting can be done with either a hand or a machine. Stitches are yarn loops in a row either flat or in the round created by knitting. At any given time, the knitting needle generally has a lot of active stitches. Tape Measure A tape measure, often known as a measuring tape, is a flexible ruler that is used to measure length or width. It is made up of a linear measurement ribbon made of fabric, plastic, fiberglass, or metal. It's a common measurement instrument. Its shape enables for a long measure to be carried in a pocket or toolbox and it may be used to measure around curves and corners. Zipper A zipper, zip, fly, or zip fastener, sometimes known as a clasp locker, is a popular method for binding the edges of a fabric or other flexible material opening, such as on a bag or a garment. Clothing, luggage and other bags, sporting goods, camping gear, such as tents and sleeping bags, and other things include it. Zippers are available in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. Seam A seam is a junction ensuing when two or more layers of fabric, leather, or other materials are stitched together. Sewing was done entirely by hand before the introduction of the sewing machine. Computerized machines, stitch seams in modern, mass-produced household textiles, sporting goods, and ready-to-wear clothes, whereas hand and machine sewing is used in home shoemaking, dressmaking, quilting, crafts, haute couture, and tailoring. Material A textile is a flexible material created by weaving an interlocking network of yarns or threads from raw fibers spun into long, twisted lengths. Weaving, knitting, crocheting, knitting, tatting, felting, bonding, or braiding, these strands together form textiles. Spool of Thread A spool is a cylinder shape with a hole in the center that is looped around something. The thread coiled around a spool for use with a sewing machine is an example of a spool. A cylinder or spindle is a device around which thread, wire or cable is wrapped. Scissors Scissors are shearing instruments that are operated by hand. When the handles, bows opposite the pivot are closed, the sharpened edges of the metal blades glide against each other, forming a pair of scissors. Scissors are used to cut paper, cardboard, metal foil, fabric, rope, and wire, among other thin materials. Wool Wool is a textile fiber made primarily from sheep and also other animals such as goat's mohair and cashmere 
muskoxen's kiviet bison's fur and skin apparel camelids and rabbits angora and numerous forms of wool quilting quilting is the word used to describe the act of stitching at least 3 layers of cloth together either by hand with a needle and thread or automatically using a sewing machine or a specialized long arm quilting system pattern a pattern is a recurring pattern in the natural world human made design or abstract concepts as a result a pattern's elements repeat in a predictable manner a geometric pattern is a repeating pattern made up of geometric forms similar to a wallpaper design patterns can be observed immediately with any of the senses loom set a loom is a device used to weave cloth and tapestry the basic purpose of any loom is to hold the warp threads under tension to facilitate the interweaving of the weft threads the precise shape of the loom and its mechanics may vary but the basic function is the same drawstring a drawstring is a string rope or lace used to draw fabric or other material ends of a drawstring are often terminated with a sheath called an aglet the ends may be tied to hold the drawstring in place and simultaneously close an opening iron hooks these steel buttons are commonly used to fasten the top of dresses blouses tops skirts and trousers above or instead of a zip fastening they are also found in couture sewing on waist stays lingerie and for fastening jackets if you like this video please subscribe our channel